Folsom Powerhouse is a well-preserved hydroelectric station in Folsom, California, near Sacramento. Folsom has the distinction of being one of the first power plants to produce power in one place and transmit it over a transmission line to where it would be consumed, in this case Sacramento, 20-odd miles away. California was a pioneer in long-distance transmission of power. Fittingly, Folsom Powerhouse is now a California State Historic Park. It is recognized as a historic engineering landmark by both the American Society of Civil Engineers and the American Society of Mechanical Engineers. A visit to Folsom Powerhouse is a great way to understand how hydroelectricity works. Let's take a look. Folsom Powerhouse used the water of the American River to generate electricity. The American River rises in the Sierra Nevada east of Sacramento and flows down into the Central Valley to join the Sacramento River. By the way, it was upstream on one of the forks of the American River where gold was first discovered at Sutter's Mill in 1848, spurring the California Gold Rush. By the time Folsom Powerhouse was built, the Gold Rush had come and gone, and entrepreneurs in California were looking to exploit a new source of wealth, what they called white coal, which was the hydroelectricity potential of the Sierra Nevada. Upstream of Folsom Powerhouse, a dam on the American River impounded water for the power project. The solid granite dam was built by convict labor from the nearby Folsom State Prison. You know, the place in the Johnny Cash song. The dam diverted water into a 1.8-mile canal, parts of which were also built by convict labor. The canal carried water through the grounds of the state prison to this place, the Four Bay, where the flow of water into the powerhouse was regulated by gates. There were actually two four bays, for redundancy. One of them could remain in use, while the other was being cleaned of accumulated sediment. The water flowed from the four bay down these pinstocks. The pinstocks are 55 feet tall. In engineering terms, this means that the water had 55 feet of head by the time it reached the powerhouse. Once in the powerhouse, the water was concentrated into a jet to spin this Pelton turbine. Each of the four penstocks had its own turbine. A shaft connected to the turbine spun the generator. The generator was built by General Electric in Schenectady, New York. Its nameplate says that it is rated for 800 volts and has a capacity of 750 kilowatts. After the generator generated electricity at 800 volts, transformers stepped the voltage up to 11,000 volts, or 11 kilovolts. Two parallel transmission lines carry the high voltage power from Folsom to Sacramento, a distance of 21 and a half miles. The operation of the station was controlled at this board, another component of the station that was made by GE. Compared with the sophisticated computerized controls for modern power stations, this control board is pretty basic. But it does the job. And it looks fancy because it's made of non-conducting Tennessee marble. After passing through the turbines, water exited the powerhouse through the tail races. From there, it flowed back into the American River, and onward to the Sacramento River and San Francisco Bay. Folsom Powerhouse started operation in 1895. Major customers of its power included streetcars, industries, and electric lighting including the California State Capitol. Folsom Powerhouse had a major weakness, though. The American River, like all the rivers of California, has seasonably variable flow. During the winter and spring, the river has a lot of water, as it is fed by heavy winter rains and snowmelt. But in the summer and fall, the dry season in California, the river level drops. Sometimes, the river level got so low that there was no water to run the turbines in Folsom Powerhouse, and the station had to shut down altogether. What Folsom Powerhouse needed was a larger reservoir, which could save up water during the wet months and release it during the dry months. The American River eventually got one of those, in the form of Folsom Dam and Lake, built by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers shortly after World War II. But Folsom Lake came too late for Folsom Powerhouse to use it. The old powerhouse shut down in 1952, 
after 57 years of service.